Julia and I'm here to say that saints are great. They will always make your day. They're super chill and they help the ill out of the goodness of their heart. Yeah, that's the best part. Let me tell you about this girl, Saint Bridget of Sweden. She was determined and never defeated. And she was born in 1303 and at the age of 14 she got married. Her husband's name was both related to the Lord of Narc. Together they decided it was time to embark on a pilgrimage to Santiago de Compostela. But poor Ulf died, he was a really good fella. So Bridget did something really brave, joined the Third Order of St. Francis and vowed to behave. Dedicated to the life of prayer. I love it when you call me a saint, yeah. Throw your hands in the air and say a little prayer. Whether you're rich or a peasant, God will always be present. Throw your hands in the air and say a little prayer. I love it when you call me a saint, yeah. Throw your hands in the air and say a little prayer. Whether you're rich or a peasant, God will always be present. You know that. You know that. She then established the order of the Most Holy Savior. You think that's wild? Well, let me tell you something crazier. Jesus came to her and began to talk. He said, listen, little mama, don't be in shock. I got a little assignment for you. Here's what you gotta do. Recite 15 Hail Marys and 15 Our Fathers. Bridget listened to him and wasn't even bothered. She died of old age in 1372. Canonized by Pope Boniface the Ninth. This is true. Her feast day is July 23rd. That's also the date that her death occurred. Now just as Bridget was a saint, my grandma's a saint to me. Her name is Magdalena Skrupko, born in 1943. She fled from the communists in 1945. Got her doctor's degree and helped save people's lives. I love it when you call me a saint, yeah. Throw your hands in the air and say a little prayer. Whether you're rich or a peasant, God will always be present. Throw your hands in the air and say a little prayer. I love it when you call me a saint, yeah. Throw your hands in the air and say a little prayer. Whether you're rich or a peasant, God will always be present. Magdalena moved to Sweden because she loved it so, but got deported in 1981. Oh no! She was let back into Sweden because that's where she thrived. She had a stroke in 09 but is still alive. Bridget and Magdalena are a lot alike. They both strive to help people because they know it's right. And they both grew up in Sweden. Yeah, that's right. I'm sure if Bridget was alive today, they'd be tight. Deuces.